Okay, okay, we are back with more Doja Cat, uh, Planet Her featuring Young Thug on Payday, produced by Y2K, oh hey, it's um, uh, uh, you, f you forget that melody, the, the, nah, nah, you know, Baby No Money, classic, there was another song by Y2K that he produced, and it was like a super dope track, and I forget what it was, it wasn't Baby No Money though, um, okay, this should be interesting, a spirited rap song, uh, featuring Young Thug, third track. I'm not too big on Young Thug. There's some songs I like. You know, he, he, we all know what he does with his voice. I didn't like it when I first heard him back in the day, but there were some tracks that are really catchy. And so I'm I'm hit or miss with Young Thug. Let's check it out. Where is this going? That's that's Y2K, bro. <laughs> I love that producer tag, bro. It's just a fucking loon. I love that. Very Canadian. I don't understand how she does her voices. Like, I guess you can just like, I don't know. I don't even want to try and mimic it. I must look like an idiot, but don't you cat's voices, dude, the, sh the voices she can do, man. I think they're really cool and they fit really well into like music. Uh, Cause like there's voices where people change their voice. Like, oh, here I go again, shitting on Playboy Cardi. But you know what I mean? They, they try and change their voice to do something and it just sounds like complete ass. It sounds like a toddler in the fucking microphone. I hate that shit. But like Doja Cat do when she does like these high up whispery kind of breathy things and stuff like it it just sounds fucking cool. It sounds cool. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Okay. Dripping like a mermaid. Is it... Wait, I'm not going to click on... I'm, I'm going to th think of the explanation myself. Is it because the scales on the mermaid are shiny and it's like drip? It's like jewelry? I mean, the most obvious thing is that mermaids are in the water and water drips when you're out. You know what I mean? But that's too obvious. There's something else here. It's a double entendre because dripping can refer to being fashionable. Mermaids live underwater. See, they didn't point out the, the, the scales. The scales on mermaids are shiny. Come on, dude. I'm disappointed in these uh people on this website. You know better. Come on, guys. Ah, no. No, 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 no. Dude, this was setting it up so hard to do a sick ass beat switch. Dude, this was dude, the running it up part, add it up. They run it up, run it like that was just building, dude. Usually you hear builds with like instruments, you know what I mean? Like you got to sound like a doing a crescendo. Is that what it was? A crescendo or you know like do 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 like a tempo speed up or something. But this kind of build up is a vocal build up, dude, and it got me. Usually when you hear a vocal build up, there is gonna be a you know a switch or a sick drop. But the drop is just the same chorus from before, which kind of disappoints me. You know, I was hoping it'd go. I mean, I think it's the same chorus from before, not lyrically, like instrumentally. Listen, run it up, run it up. Right here. Mm. I forgot Young Thug, oh no. Oh. 
Hey, Serena Williams, right? Okay, 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 okay. Um, not too big on this chorus. I mean, this verse. <clears throat> I don't care about vibes, but you said that shit aside. Mama Fizz, tell me you can blossom, right? Uh, oh, cause physics. Wait, all your mama physics tell me you gonna block. Oh, okay. There was nothing. I don't fuck with rascals for a reason. I'm just looking for bars. I think this is the the real bar here, right? Serena Williams. Bring my fucking mistress before I swing it. Was there something that happened here? His lover to bring his lover to his swing. Okay, I thought maybe Serena Williams had a mistress or something. You know, a patek on my wrist. That's just like a watch, right? Swiss, high quality. Okay, okay. I see down here. I, we haven't got this part yet. He says long like a limousine. And the last Doja track we checked out, there's like a, a bar saying something like that. You know, like I forget what it was, but Eve was you know doing it. <laughs> My money long classic. I'm bilingual talking money conversations. And baby, we are not the same, no mistake. You gotta face it. Cause it just keeps adding up and they run it up and they Oh, I love that part. Interesting. Yes, I do I definitely like this transition for getting out of the drop the bup, 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 bup. you know what i mean that was really cool that was really cool but again the chorus sounds like the chorus from before like you know there's no extra layers i mean we'll listen to the whole thing i'm sure there's something different about it it looks longer than the other ones oh yeah there's more layers the counter melody Is that just a normal guitar? It doesn't sound like it. Is that a normal guitar? <clears throat> just got an acoustic? I can't tell. Um, that was a cool song. It wasn't that bad. I definitely liked the last one I checked out more. Uh, Doja provides Young Thug. Uh, the chorus, the chorus wasn't too intense. I did like the part where she was doing the repetitive part. Um, every day, yeah, yeah. You know, like that part. That part was more catchy. I actually see my dreams. Yeah, you know what? It wasn't that bad. The chorus was decent, <clears throat> but I feel like it could have been a bit more catchier. Uh, the production, the production was really good, but I definitely think um, the direction it went in were there was like two, was there two or three drops? The drops just didn't connect well. I don't know. I feel like there should have been like something different, maybe like a beat switch. Like I said, that everyone, everyone loves a good beat switch. Everyone, you can never go wrong with a beat switch unless you don't know what you're doing. You know what I mean? If you know what you're doing in production, you know, you know, provide that, it's gonna be fire. Thugger uses his angelic voice flow. He slides so smooth on this. Angelic voice. Young Thug. Listen, man. Young, I like, I like his weird voice. I like his weird voice, but I would not describe it as angelic just because he's higher up in pitch. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Lana Del Rey. Well, hello? That's angelic. All right. Uh, it's going to be a good album. Same vibes as Go to Town and Won't Bite. Incorporates folklore in her music. That is really cool too. Charlie XCX. I can kind of see that. Surprisingly catchy? Uh, kind of, yeah. Song sounds fun. It is definitely a fun song. Alright. Keep it elite, man. Keep. I'll keep it. Um, 
it's an all around good track. I don't think it's anything too crazy, but I like it, man. I like it. So what will I rate it? I'm probably going to go eight. Mm, I'm, I'm going to put this one on like eight, two. I put this one on like an eight, two. It's a, it's a really well-made track. There's some catchy parts, but I definitely think it could be better. Oh yeah, man.